Come on, no, over here. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mid 80s, early 90s is preferred. Trying to do quick turnaround time, getting everything from Lowbrow Customs. The dog says no. The dog said no. She's like, I'm out of here. Sorry. My name is Dan Delastrito. I run Death Co. Choppers. We are based out of Columbus, Ohio, and we specialize in 1986 to 2003 Harley Davidson Sportster builds. You know, I, I had a shovel head chopper. I sold that last year. Uh, I was kind of missing that particular aspect of my life. And I thought it'd be a good idea to do something a little different this time around doing a Sportster. I haven't built a Sportster in many, many years. Probably at least 10 years was the last time I even worked on one. But as I started to do it, it all came back to me. And uh, I think it's been, it's been pretty fun to do. They're definitely similar. They're that, tough guy, Midwest kind of look with the tall front end, tall T-bars, um, you know, solo seat, no sissy bar, just real tight, tall, skinny, and aggressive. Listen, that's what I like. Um, you know, a lot of people can hate it. A lot of people can love it. it makes no difference to me, but it's the, the kind of bike that I prefer to ride and the, honestly, the kind of bike that I prefer to, to build. So in the last, you know, four months or so, I've I've definitely uh, been very busy. Um, I've done four projects, and you know where I'm located at, I can find Sportsters relatively inexpensive, low miles, early you know early 90s, mid 80s range. You know I've got a full-time day job that keeps me busy 50 hours a week. I'm out here in my garage. After that, you know, till 9, 10 o'clock at night or what have you. Weekends, you know, it allows me the time to do that as well. So. You know, I, I think ultimately it's just a matter of, I do it to stay busy. And I never did it to, you know, make a lot of money or to, you know, have any clout or anything like that. I, I think ultimately I just wanted to put out rad little bikes that I know people will like. The first one I did here, it's a 1987 XLH. You know, it was your standard stock bike. I got it from a lady that had it for 24 years, I think and it hadn't ran for the last seven years. So at that point, you know, I picked that thing up relatively cheap, like I said, threw it in my garage, had it completely taken apart in three hours when I got it home. Parts were coming in as I was doing that. Lowbrow Customs, uh, gas box, rigid three up frame, which is what I use on every build that I've done. They are awesome, awesome frames. Everything is pretty much plug and play on the back end with the spacing and the braking and everything like that you know from there you know the oil tank plug and play with that the gas tanks everything you know that you're going to need the meat and potatoes i would say of the bike 
itself, I mean, I picked up from, from there. Minimal fabrication. The only fab that I had to do would be the bottom mount for the oil tank. And outside of that, nowadays they're doing the fender support mount that's already been welded on there, which is awesome. That takes a lot of the guesswork out of it for you. So, you know, for the, the do-it-yourselfer, it's a great product to, to, to utilize. I mean, it's, it makes it, they make it very easy is what they do. The frames that I'm using are the Gasbox 3-Up full rigid frames and they are utilizing, which I found to be a four over or a six over front end, which makes it handle very well. It gives it that good looking stance that, that you're really gonna go for. And this first one here has a four over uh, on the extended fork tubes there. Gas box exhaust, easy to mount. You know, that's gonna go on there. They supply the mounts for you in the back, bolt on in the front, easy peasy there. Any of the mounts that you're gonna need for the bike, Gas box provides, whether they're the front motor mounts, the top motor mount, everything like that. I mean, there's no guesswork. You don't have to modify anything, which I think makes it a great product for, like I said, the customers that, you know, and the people that don't have the skills necessarily to, to do it themselves. Man, I would love to say there's things that are challenging, but there really isn't. I mean, even the wiring, the wiring, I mean, they, again, it's a product that Lowbrow carries. It's the Gremlin wiring kits. They're super easy. I, I, yeah, I mean, I can honestly say there's there's not a lot of difficulty in it. It's just a matter of, I think, having a good eye and, and being able to put it all together and, and make it look clean and, and simple. Deathco, as most people know, uh, it's a t-shirt company that I've been a part of and doing for the last, we've, I don't know, almost 20 years. I mean, it's been a long time that I've been doing it. And, you know, with this new venture, I'm still obviously doing the shirts and stuff. This is just kind of moving me into just something different. It's just a passion that I've had and that I've always wanted to do. I've got the time now to do it. And, you know, I'm going to continue to keep building these bikes, you know, in hopes that people dig them, people like them and, you know, make them make them accessible. For, for everybody. After this one, obviously it's gonna be another Sportster. More than likely, I'll probably do a late 80s Sportster. Same tough guy, Midwest muscle kind of look to it. You know, they're all the same, but they're kind of different. Um, and that's what kind of what I like about them. You know, at least keeping them similar like that. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, you can find us on the website, www.death-co.com. And you can find us here. If you like bikes that are cool, that are fun to ride, that are little rippers for around town, I mean, listen, I'm not telling you to go right around across the country on these things, but if you want a stylish, tough bike, let me know. I'll build it for you. It's that simple. Or if you want to find the parts and do it yourself, f do it that way. Just go to Lowbrow Customs. They'll get you sorted out. Sold gas box. Hell yeah. <laughs>